was actually a couple of my clients that gave me the name The Cravings Whisperer. And I was talking so much for so many years about how our cravings are trying to tell us something that we should be listening to them. And that they're really our body and our soul's to-do list. That our cravings are messages for balance, always. It's just a request from your body to do something to feel better in some way. So in that way, they're not something to be pushed away or ignored or fought against. It's really a way to tune in and truly start to listen to your body. I really believe that adults especially need more play and fun and joy in our bodies, that that's one of the physical cravings that we have the most. And unfortunately, we don't play very much. We don't have a lot of fun in our lives because we're too busy, we're trying to be responsible. So the only fun that our body gets is from food. So I encourage everyone to get some toys. Like I have roller skates, I have a hula hoop, I have a mini trampoline. Play frisbee with your friends. Color, knit, whatever it is that's fun for you. It brings joy. You forget about how your body looks when you play in a really joyful way. And instead, you just enjoy being in your body. And that releases incredible happy hormones that really balance your body in a way that your metabolism starts to improve, that your digestion starts to improve. So the more fun you have, the better your body works. It's hard at first to listen to our body, to listen to our cravings. It is a shame culture, it's the diet and fitness industry, and it is hard to be in this social media saturated culture where we can look at images of people that we think are real, and it's not real. So we're comparing ourselves to a total fiction. You have to surround yourself with people who are truly dedicated to authentic well-being and joy in life. And maybe you need a social media detox. You know, I've been known to go through my own Instagram and stop following people that I, I just felt some bad energy around their images. And they may not be trying to make me feel bad, but you have to tune into your body and see, how do I react when I pick up this magazine? How does my body feel when I watch this TV show? Those little things that we consume with our eyes and our ears every day really impact how our body feels and how we feel about ourselves.